Hey guys, I wanted to make part of my video, I am not very makeup savvy, but when I see something that works, I like to try it. And I have gotten into uh, coloring correcting, color correcting, and so I'm using my back camera because it has the better thing so you can see better. One, this eye has my color correcting on it and this eye don't, but like look how amazing that looks. Like it takes away my dark circles and because I'm so pale, this is my, which Lily destroyed part of my thing. Thanks Lily. But so I use this color underneath my eye so that, um, which before I was using an eye, like that color eyeshadow on my eye, which worked pretty well. But this like peach color, oh, works amazing. Um, and then the green is for, you know, like any redness, which I, I have, always have lots of redness all over my face, always. I just keep a red face. Um... And then the yellow one is for uh, also like redness um, or like any like yellowness or anything that you might have on your eye. It just kind of, um, it just kind of, uh, I use it to like kind of brighten up my face kind of, if that makes sense. So I just kind of, I just use my finger. And a tip for you guys, because I took cosmetology, you always technically you want to use your your third finger because that's your like most gentle finger. But I I tend to use whatever finger, but you want to use a finger or you could use like a brush too, but you just want to like tap. You never want to rub underneath your eyes because that's how you get wrinkles. Because it messes up your um elasticity in your face when you just sit there and like rub your eyes um so you always just like want to tap it also helps for when you get older and you get like puffiness under your eyes if you don't do a whole lot of like rubbing and stuff and you do more like patting that'll also help prevent that too learn that in cosmetology i learned a lot of like cool little tricks in cosmetology even though i'm not that great at doing my hair or my makeup but i am good and taking care of my face. I mean, look at that. It looks like I don't have any. That's probably the best light. It looks like I don't have any dark circles whatsoever. And you can't tell that it's peach. I just think this is like the coolest thing ever. I mean, even the green, before I put makeup on, you can still kind of like see it on my face. But it's not like. It doesn't go as seamless as the other color, but it works really well. I mean, this, I mean, like, and now I'm not red in the corner of my nose like I am that one. I just think that's, like, so cool. And then when I put on my face makeup, it will just all look seamless. And it's really cool because, like, when I, if I have all of it on, like, my face is just all one color. It's, like, really, really cool. And if you are darker than me, you would use different colors. Like, I'm pretty sure the peach color for you would be like, depending on how dark you are. Like, if you're like really, really dark, I think you use uh, like a red, I think. Maybe an orange. I think it's a red. I don't know. Something like that. And, and you use like purple. You still use green. You just use a darker green. And that, ooh, I accidentally just brightened up my face. Ooh. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys because I thought that was really cool. And I got that at Walmart for like $2. So, not that expensive. And it works really well. Okay, now to figure out how to turn this off. Alright, you guys. I am officially ready for Oktoberfest. Josh's grandmother got these for me. 
She is from Germany, and so that's why we enjoy Oktoberfest so much.
all the videos I'm just now recording <laughs> or just now like putting all of these Oktoberfest videos together and recording this because uh, we went to two different Oktoberfest um, one was in Coleman Alabama and one was in Birmingham Alabama both were super fun um, both in like their own ways uh, I'm really hoping that the Birmingham one continues to do theirs because it was like super fun also, um, in case, I don't know if I've ever said this, um, I don't know if I explained it in earlier videos, so I just, I want to, even if I did, I'm sorry for repeating myself, my husband's grandmother came over here from Germany, so we're really huge into all German things, and Oktoberfest is one of those German things, but I also know that sometimes when it comes to having any type of affiliation with drinking or beer, just any of that, it can be a touchy subject. And I would like to say that I am in no way condoning going out and getting drunk and wasted and becoming, you know, just getting out of your mind, not being able to control yourself. Um, I'm not condoning drinking and driving or any of that stuff. Um, Oktoberfest is just a really, really huge German holiday, um, and so it's really big and fun for Josh's grandmother, and she loves to take us to them and loves to sing the German songs to us and tries to get us to sing the German songs, even though I can't sing anything German, and so I just love getting us, like, silly little hats and all these things. Next year, she's convinced that we're all going to wear Lederhosen. Josh, I guarantee you, is never going to wear Lederhosen. So, 
I just wanted to clarify that so like nobody thinks that I'm condoning bad habits. Now whether or not you view drinking as good or bad, that is something in between for you and Jesus to discuss, a conviction for you and Jesus to discuss, and it's not something that I am going to discuss on my YouTube page because it is such a sensitive subject. Um and it's not so black and white and so I don't want there to be any arguing or upsetting or anyone thinking I'm condoning anything bad. So I just wanted to clarify that. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy the, I know it's probably not the best videoing there is um, that I could have done. And I apologize, but I hope you guys uh, somewhat enjoyed it. And you guys have a great day and God bless.